Here we go. Chapter four. Crap gets real. Can I get this to just like, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's resume. Hold on! There's one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently, he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. X. I? Yes. Sister? Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Which sister is it then? Oh yeah, that's right. Crap is gonna get real immediately. And it won't cease for this really short but really good chapter. Alright, here we go. I'm really nervous. Someone's probably gonna die. Loyalty. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's appropriate. Grab the gun. Thank you. Oh crap, it's midnight. The oh crap hour. Okay. Now I gotta really pay attention. I'm actually a bit nervous. Risk. Okay, 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 okay. Oh gosh. Jessica! Jessica! <laughs> Jessica! This is where Mike starts to become my favorite character in the game. He's just kind of great from this point on. Try and pull it back so that you can see who is doing it, but it won't let me. Ah, uh, jump down. Why not? Oh crap. I almost missed that one. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Jump. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm calling it so close. Risk. Oh crap. I'm terrified right now. I know you can't see my face, but trust me, I'm terrified. A lot of this comes down to skill, a lot more than you would think. It's not just all luck and figuring out the good choices, though. Those are both good elements in it, too. Okay, now I can chill for a moment. He sounds annoyed, like he finds her obnoxious. By the way, really savor this chapter, because the next chapter is really slow. Anything over here? Nothing, alright.
And remember, this is very close to where we saw our jaw ripped out. This is the wolf one, right? Yep. Pet the wolf. Got it. Wolf buddy. Wow, I'm already almost halfway through this game. It's just so entertaining. Like, just so thoroughly entertaining. There she is! Butterflies! Is she dead? Not the moment. Notice I say at the moment. Man, she's sliced up. She might not live. Gotta get her. And that looks like death. He's like, crap, she's dead. I'm gonna save my bullet. I'm not going after it. I mean, I am going after it, but I'm not shooting because I want to save my ammo. I forgot quick time events still exist. So now that she's basically screwed, I can take my time, so I'm gonna go safe now. Oh boy. Don't want him to fall and die. Okay. Let's climb. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, let's quicken the pace a bit now. Charge. Let's go. I fired. It's jammed or is it empty? Well, I mean, I saved my fire on purpose. So, like... I know that you could get a fire off, but it was probably jammed. Because I did make it for sure. I guess he just, he or she can't be killed right now. Oreos just chill asleep on my lap. It's adorable. That's the name of my dog, by the way. In case if any of you don't know. He's who I've been referring to. Alright, we're halfway through the fourth chapter. This one's really short. But that's because it's the best chapter in the game, in my opinion. Because it's just so thoroughly intense, like I said. It's basically two lengthy 15-minute sequences, and they're both fantastic. This is the ending of the first sequence. There it is! Sanatorium. Chapter 5 is probably the most boring and lengthy of the game, but it's still, like, this game is so great. I just, it's great. It totally makes up for it. I'm already almost halfway through the game. I'm, like, a third in? Ashley, where is your boomstick? Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. Where are you? I can't find you, but there's blood everywhere. Ash, Ash. <laughs> Evil Dead? 
Evil Dead? Anything? Really, nothing. Okay. There's a lot of places with, like, nothing in it. Before I go over there... Will you let me walk over there? You will. Okay. Nothing shiny? Nothing shiny. West Virginia. Oh, I see sign. Or here, right? Yeah. Ash. Okay, let's look around. I'm more honest. That's good. Oh, my relationship with Josh improved. Okay. Wow, I'm doing just spectacular on the totem front. A lot of unresolved ones so far. To the rescue. Mike successfully chased after Jessica. Yeah, spoiler alert. Sorry. I should have just waited, but I didn't think about it. Yeah, as it stands right now, she's alive. She survived the elevator fall. In case if successfully wasn't hint enough for you, but I'm assuming everyone figured that out by now. Because I didn't screw up a single prompt there. Oh, shit. No. Which, if everyone can live or die, it wouldn't make sense for her to be dead. So, that's one person saved for the moment. Uh, that means there's like a 75% chance, I think, that Jessica will survive until dawn. But I'm not 100% sure. Which, I'm happy about that, but like you saw, she's my second least favorite character. So it's not like, ooh, yay. I'm going to be so happy if I can save, like, Chris and Mike, because those are the two characters I care the most about. Josh, too, but, like, you know. Ashley! If I save those two, I'll be happy. My prediction is that five will survive until dawn, and three will die. Get ready for a jump scare, guys. There it is. Clowns, because I said clowns. What the hell? Who would do this? Yeah, I love that. Spooky, scary clowns. Alright, pig's head. That's messed up, bro. Let's see, totem, totem, totem. I'm doing insanely good on the totem front. That's unpleasant. Death. So wait, is that Chris then, or I don't know. Maybe death is like less tragic. Like someone's action caused someone else to die. And then death is like, you did something wrong so you die. I don't know. I think that looked more like Matt, though, based on his shoes. I'm not 100% sure, though. Oh, by the way, you can replay those tomes as much as you want to help figure out what to do, which is really helpful. Or wait, was that an alternate path? I want to make sure. Usually, if they say sign... That means that you're going along... Oh, okay, it is just one path. Usually if they say sign, that means you're going in the progress direction. So if you want to collect everything, like me, then you would want to go the other way first. This game's really fun. <laughs> I love it. It's so much fun. Ashley? Ash?
Ashley! Red! Uh, Ash, I'm here. Where are you? Um, Ash, I don't know! God damn it! Please, help me! Uh, I'm coming, Ash. Just, uh, just keep talking to me. What happened? Chris, he tied me up. I can't move. Ashley, I'm gonna get you out of this. Don't worry. I'm really scared, Chris. Hurry, please. Chris, are you there? Hello. And thank you all for joining me. Tonight, we're going to conduct a little experiment, sort of test. Now, for this experiment, we'll need the cooperation of our two test subjects, Joshua and Ashley. What? Oh my God. But we're going to need one more brave participant to help decide which subject will live and which will die. Please, please, everyone calm down. It's all very simple. Christopher, you will find a lever placed directly in front of you. All you have to do is choose who you will save. Oh, no. Please, this can't be oh, happening. Shit, shit, no! Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, oh, okay, 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 this is gonna be okay. Oh, dude, buddy. Oh Let's just think God. about this for a minute. You can't let me die. Just give me a second. I, 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 uh, huh? I can't think straight. Just, just... huh? Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't let you die. No. You, thank Please, you. Please, no. This is insane! This is nuts! This isn't happening! Chris, please tell me this isn't happening! I, I, oh. I see. You could have chosen to save. Okay, so, uh, here's what happened. Uh, the camera cut out, so I'll just tell you what you missed. It was about, uh, five minutes, I think. So, basically... Um, uh, you missed me walking. Ordy. Gosh darn it, Ordy. Oh, this can only go 30 minutes. Weird. Okay, uh, switching this to like this. That's morning. Gosh darn it. Pull your horses, bud. Here. Okay, so, I'm gonna catch you up on everything you missed. Uh, so as you can see, my relationship with Ashley and Josh went up. Uh, so here's what happened. Uh, gosh darn it, Oreo, I need focus. So, we're on and which will die. Ordy! Gosh darn it. Fine, there you go, you big fat baby. Okay, so here's what you missed. Uh, so I was walking around, I heard Ashley yelling, and I, uh, moved to behind a warehouse, where I found, is it this one? No, it's not that one. Uh, this. Give me one second to reposition. Maybe I do have to put it this way. Sorry that I keep flipping it and making it confusing. Uh, no. There. Okay. So, I got this. Uh, I'll zoom it in a bit. No, I don't want you to turn off. I just said that. Oh my gosh. Listen to me, you phone. You phony phone. 
phone, phone. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is being really dumb. Okay, so watch, right? So this is what I got behind the warehouse. That. Alright. So. Oh gosh. I hate this so much. So now I went to a warehouse and Ashley was yelling all like, You gotta see me, man. And I was playing as Chris still. And uh, then a light went on and Jigsaw popped up. And uh, Ashley and... Uh, give me a second. Ashley and Josh were tied up, which, as you saw, I liked both of them. There we go. And I had to choose between the two of them. Uh, I either... There is no timer. And I'll try to cut in footage if I can to show you what I went through. But uh, it'll be someone else's footage. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, and uh, I had to choose Save Josh. Which would say, I'm sorry, Ashley. Or uh, Save Ashley and say, I have to let you live. And there is a voice talking. I said... I, felt bad for Josh, which I do, but the first time I played it, I didn't trust, well, not first time I played it, the first time I watched it, I didn't trust Josh, so I chose to have him be the one that died, uh, so I won't reveal what I picked, but you'll see, so I picked that, and this, the serial killer was talking with a warped voice, and he or she said that one of them has to die no matter what, and like I said, no timer. So then I told them what I was going to do, and now I'm at the lever where I came to the conclusion that if I do nothing, maybe I can save one of them with the lever, not with what I said. I had to choose what I said, so now we'll see what happens. This is what I was talking about. Like I said, I'm doing nothing. Let's see what happens. I chose to save Ashley before this. Here we go. Fun times. <laughs> so it's the best friend or the love interest, and I just chose which one I thought would be better. Yeah, that's death. <laughs> so that really surprised me the first time I watched this, because I was like, oh, I thought he did it. So yeah, you didn't really miss anything, just like five minutes. I wonder why this specifically can only go up to 30 minutes at the moment. That's weird. See, I remember what I said earlier about, like, sometimes you're forced into a lose-lose situation. This might be it. Chris. Ashley. I told you. Someone's gonna die. And yes, you could make a case for Jessica being dead. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure that she's alive. Because, uh, once again, I hadn't played through this. I've, I hadn't seen what my actions would cause. Yeah, you only missed, like, five minutes. It wasn't much. Like I said, I'll try to cut in if I remember. So I'm going to help you guys see Oh, there is an interesting... I hadn't seen this before. This conversation. This is not how it plays out in everyone else's. That's interesting. She's actually being reasonable. That's interesting. Stop. 
status update. <laughs> the Airstorm is the best. <laughs> Hello again. Things are getting pretty tense up here, huh? Yeah. Is the night going to bring you home this morning? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's going fine. It could be going worse. No, it's not is fair to. Uh, I don't know. I guess it could be going worse. It's not going the exact way I hoped, but this is fine. I'll just say fine. I don't know how this one plays out. When you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve. Okay, I kind of deserve that one. What do you want? Who are you? What do you want? We already know he's Dr. Hill. Then why were you encouraging it in the beginning? That's the part I don't understand. Jerk. Surprise. You're freaking me out. That's a complicated question. Uh, I mean, it could be both. It's probably both. Let's say you don't exist. <laughs> I love how smug he is in this role. Alright, that's where I'm stopping for tonight. So, Dr. Hill. Uh, so yeah, now I also got the Science of Fear. And let's look at everything else that we collected to end this off for tonight. I did four chapters in one night, and that was great. I loved it. All right. Yep. 16 years. Okay. I'm doing really good on totems, though I missed two, I think. I don't know. That, that legitimately worries me that I missed two, unless if I get those later, I don't know. And, the, so, and which will die is what we just did. Chris said that he would save Ashley, which, yeah, that's what I said. So, is that everything? I think that might be it. There might be a break in between this and the my next episode, like episode five. But, uh, yeah, it, I, it just depends on when I get to play episode five. So yeah, let's see what the events of the past to finish things off. Sometime after the prospect was to mine this mountain until a cave in trap had driven mad murderers. Human flesh. My grasp beyond my reach. I hear the oh, I think I missed an important one. Gosh darn it. Okay, that's it. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Oh crap, it's a wolfie.